Hey guys, I just wanted to show you inside a um, this Mitsuba FR2228 flasher. This is the flasher that comes on the Kawasaki Ninja 300. And after doing some googling, it's pretty apparent that not only does it come on the Ninja 300, it comes on an assortment of other motorcycles as well. And as you can see inside this flasher relay, it's probably one of the most entry level relays that you can find. Hence the reason why when people go and connect up LEDs and stuff like to their bikes, they don't work because they don't draw enough current because this is an entry level flasher. And basically the capacitor charges and discharges. As it charges and discharges the capacitor, that's what causes the um, that's what causes the relay to um, uh, click and engage and disengage power to your lights um, and it works on resistance um, you have to have the resistance there without the resistance there from the other, from the um, standard globes it won't work um, yeah very very basic and rudimentary relay um, yeah so there's not, not a great deal to it but yeah if you want to go adding LEDs and stuff to your bike do yourself a favour, remove this. I use a, um, a Trident HD12 pack. Um, that's the model number I use. You can pick those up at Super Cheap Auto. Um, they work with practically anything you want to throw at the thing. Um, but yeah, if you want to think about upgrading to LEDs or anything like that, first thing you need to do is change your flash relay because the stock one just ain't going to cut it. It's great for bulbs. Um, and if you want to think about putting hazard lights and stuff on your bike, then you definitely need to change this because this won't drive it. Um, as you can see in here, it says 10 watt by 2, so it'll do it will do the the bike comfortably, but you won't do any more than what it's designed for up the showroom floor. Not going to happen. Cheers.